to determine the derivative of the given function, we need to recognize that we have a product of two functions. We'll have to apply the product rule, but also that the second function, cosine x squared, is a composite function. So we'll have to apply the chain rule when differentiating this part. So to apply the product rule, we'll let the first function equal f and the second function equal g. Let's go ahead and write out the product rule without actually finding any derivatives so we can show our work. So we'll have the first function, e to the x, times the derivative of the second function, so the derivative of cosine x squared, plus the second function, which is cosine x squared, times the derivative of the first function, which is e to the x. So now let's determine these two derivatives. And when determining the derivative of cosine x squared, since we have a composite function, we'll let u equal the inner function. So for this function, u is going to be equal to x squared. So we can think of this function as just cosine u. So we'll have f prime of x equals e to the x times the derivative of cosine u with respect to x. Well, the derivative of cosine u would be negative sine u times u prime. So we'll have negative sine u, but u is x squared, times u prime. And again, since u is x squared, u prime would be 2x. Plus, here we have cosine x squared times the derivative of e to the x, but the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So here's our derivative. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. This first product would be negative 2x e to the x sine x squared plus this would be e to the x cosine x squared. So let's go ahead and finish by factoring this. The only thing these two have in common is e to the x. So let's factor out e to the x. And notice how this term would still be negative and this would be positive. So let's put the positive term first. We'd have cosine x squared. And then we'd have minus 2x sine x squared. And this would be our derivative function.